another episode of Angela Eats TV, hashtag Big Pellets, Note to Self, Don't Hurt Yourself. Well, I got a special one for you on today. Let's go ahead and say grace so I can give you all the juicy details. You ready? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this meal that we're about to receive. I ask that you let it be nourished into our bodies. Look up on the land and bless those that do not have. This I pray in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen to you. Amen, everybody. Yes, yeah, so pause. On that note, if you don't have a snack, go get your snack and come right on back. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's start eating and I'll start telling you about it. So what we got on the menu, the menu we just got we have some dirty rice and we have some uh, pork bit belly. Yeah. Courtesy of Phoenicia. She could get in everything, y'all. Look at that. Give you a good close up. Huh? Some jalapenos, stay up here. Gotta show you food, baby. I want some um, smack delicious. That's what I want. But I'm not gonna put anything on it just yet. You want some smack delicious? Okay, keep it over there for a second. This is the thing. I received uh, a package from one of my uh, picky pellets. Thank you, Burn. Thank you, Burn. Thank you, Burn. And I am talking about Burn Bang. Um, he sent me a couple of sauces that I have not tried before. And I am going to be trying the Capital City Mumbo Sauce. Mm -hmm. And it says it's good for chicken. You know, I, I've heard about this before, and someone told me this sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. And then the second sauce he sent me is called uh, Marie Sharp's Blazing Heat, and that's a uh, habanero something. So that's what I'm going to do. You want to see it? Which one? This one? Oh, is, is it Belizean? Belizean. Okay, I got on the wrong glasses, okay? I don't have my reading glasses on. I got my seeing glasses on. <laughs> That's reading. I was like, it's so strong. It's like a belief kind of hot sauce. Well, we gonna see. Okay, let's see. Um, What I want to try first. I'm gonna try the mumbo sauce. Mumbo sauce. I'm gonna put some on my pork belly. And I'm gonna put some, a little bit right here on my rice. Mm. We are reviewing a sauce. What you mean you okay? Just put it on a little piece like I did. Taste it. This girl said, I'm okay. Because I don't wanna, I already put the other sauce on it. It's hot too. It is hot because we would just got done cooking. No, no, I mean the, the, like, the spice, the smackalicious. Oh, you put the smackalicious on? Okay. Hot. Okay. Mm. okay, I'm going in for, let me try some on the rice. And let me get that pork belly. There y'all go. You put the capsule on the city sauce, number sauce? Mm hmm. On the rice and on a piece of pork belly. It's sweet. We got a hint of sweetness. It's like teriyaki meat. I'm gonna. It has like a, you feel the backdrop of it, the heat building. Mmm. Mm. You like that? That is good. See? That's interesting. Mm. It's kind of like, well, I don't want to say it's like sweet teriyaki sauce, so it doesn't taste like that. Mm -hmm. With the sweet and spiciness. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. But they should be twisting my hair. Okay. Again, and then she braided it all down. I'm going to throw a clip up in here for y'all so y'all can see the back of my hair. So I'm really excited about that. Thank 
got it all laying down nice and pretty. Wigs go on just right. Let me try the um, hot one. No, um. Can I have the uh, Oh, now you want some mumbo oh, sauce. Yeah. Now yeah. you want some mumbo sauce. All right. <laughs> okay. It makes it taste like. I like the sweet and the spicy that we have going on. Mm -hmm. Those two together is really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put some right here. Y'all see, y'all see it falling out. And let me give me a piece of pork belly right there. You like that? Did you try this one? I got some heat, but it's not, it's not bad. And it says it's a habanero, see I don't got to breathe that so. Habanero pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Thank you, Vern. Those are going to come in. Both Can do. Both of those. Mm -hmm. I guess this is going to be, she's not going to need this. <laughs> Is that going on one? Because you can put this on everything. Yeah, you can. Which is not going to let me preserve it. It's good. And I bake some bite on Amazon. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I've never seen that in But they store. have a soft something. I heard. Mm. Go to their website. Yeah. Do you like the um, pork belly? Yes, I do. I was nervous to make it, y'all. I, I was nervous. Cooking for you makes me nervous. Why? Because I'm always in the kitchen? Yes. Oh, no. She, I asked her if she wanted to cook it. She said no. But the entire time I was making it, she was in the kitchen. Because <laughs> you got to clean as you go. I do. You be stressing me out. <laughs> I do. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I want to thank everybody for being here today. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This ain't bad, but I want some uh, smack delicious. I'll put a little bit more on there. Right. Thank you. I hope everybody is doing well and swell. This is good. Sure. What's the last video that you posted for them? What was the last video? So that of ours, the, big, the last video they seen was the um, um, Kids Are Dismissed? Yeah, Kids Are Dismissed. Okay. That video did very well, by the way. I wanted to also say welcome to all the new Picky Palettes. I want to welcome my Tic Tac family over here. Um, in my um, in my uh, comments and stuff, tell me that they came over and subscribed to the channel. Because I always post uh, a short or do, you know, do three parts. And I always put it over there on TikTok. And they really enjoyed it too. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Turned out good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was nervous. Turned <laughs> 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 okay. Peppa, baby, Peppa. <laughs> Spicy. We put all this hot sauce on it, cheers to everyone. 
burning. Is it? Yeah. Did you eat your pepper? No, I can't. I'm afraid. Let me cut that out. <laughs> 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 oh, shoot. Girl, you about to hurt me. You about to hurt me. <laughs> I am doing well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> oh, you're making me laugh. I'm doing that. So that's what telling me you're laughing at me. I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing. Oh, I'm, yeah, bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, I'm doing good. Okay. Feels good someday. I like going to Walmart. It's interesting to see like how different it is. I think it looks exactly the same. I think it's more of, like the people's mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Like the way like we were, we were in the bread aisle. <clears throat> you were looking at the bread and the candy was on the other side. Mm -hmm. This lady came up with her, her basket, so I'm sitting there behind her waiting, and she starts like pushing her basket into me, uh -huh. so she gets the candy I'm sitting next to, but she didn't say anything. All she had to say was, excuse me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, okay. But it's also really busy in there, too. It was crowded. I don't like um, Wally World like that. It'd be too many people. Yeah. It was busy. And I had their whole family week worth groceries and self checkout. That doesn't make sense. 15 items or less, right? Mm -mm. You're supposed to, I mean, that's how it is in California. They put signs up that say that now. But for a uh, self checkout, 15 items or less. Man, there are people up there. Shopping for the whole month, you think they baskets? You think they be in the Costco and the self checkout? That little bitty section. Mm -hmm. You know, going grocery shopping mm -hmm. is one of my like childhood like staple memories. Mm -hmm. Like us all going to um, Nicholas. Mm -hmm. I know, a bunch of stuff. Every time we bought, they bought so much food. Every we did a big thing. Well, we fed a lot of people. Yeah, we fed a lot of people. And then, but I still had three of y'all there. We were just thinking about it. Like, mm -hmm. when I think about my childhood. Food for less is mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Going to the park and um, ice cream with my dad. Mm -hmm. Little girls. I remember those days too. What about the ducks? Um, the ducks and the bread. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I like the mumbo sauce and I like the um, Belizean, Belizean heat. It's good, Fern. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. I got a nice little collection of hot sauces, don't I? You do. Mm hmm You do, for sure. Yeah, this is good. You did good, Phoenicia. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. You gonna eat some more? Huh? Would you eat more like in the next few days of it? Of what? This? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So she likes it. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes if you don't like it, you won't eat it again. I don't like leftovers. They have to be. <laughs> Remember that. I'm going to connect that back to something else. It have to be like a, a pasta. Or, um, a spaghetti, yeah, like a pasta or something like that. Um, but now since, you know, I got the air fryer, there's a lot more 
things that you can, you can definitely warm up and use. Uh, now this pork pork belly, I would um cut it thinner with the few slices that we have left, and I would have that with a breakfast sandwich. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, huh? Okay. <laughs> Ballet. <laughs> Our day. That's good. It was actually very, very good. We're gonna make um the mashed potatoes and beef chunks again. Probably won't film it, but I mean, unless you want to film it, but we're gonna make that again. Mm -hmm. And then uh, somebody tell her if you eat, you film it. You ain't got to film it. You ain't got to film with me. You didn't film with, with me on the last time. Yeah. So, I'm good. I'm good. Y'all good? I'm good. Oh, that's what I wanted to ask. What's that? Uh, spaghetti. That's like a whole meal. But I'm learning that people in the South slash East Coast eat spaghetti with like catfish or like a meat. Uh, fried chicken, and I did. I cooked y'all spaghetti and fried chicken all the time. You know that never made sense to me. When I was a kid, that never made sense to me. But what? How? So how are you gonna say? You know? Because I didn't. I didn't think about it as like. There was okay. There's plenty of times you did, but most of the times that I remember you eating spaghetti, which was a lot. There was no side. It was just the big pot of spaghetti. We ate on that for like two, three days. Mm -hmm. But that's when you know you, when you got a big pot of spaghetti and you ate it for three days, two, three days. Money was tight, baby. But it was good too. Yeah, it was. Because <laughs> the longer it's in, the better it tastes. Exactly. Put it in those big uh, ceramic bowls with the blue lids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. So Which, okay, now yeah. say something now. But I guess I was gonna ask them is that how they have it? Spaghetti and. Do, do you guys um, um, make a meat along with your spaghetti? Do you eat some fried fish or do you um, make some fried chicken or uh, pork chop or anything? Do you eat anything with your spaghetti or do you use the spaghetti as a meal? And if you eat it as a, a side, do you leave meat out of it? Or do they still put meat in it and eat meat with it? They still put meat in their spaghetti. See, that's why I was confused with with this fried rice in my head if it has meat in it and it has a starch in it it's a meal on its own you don't need other stuff with it besides like a side salad but if something has meat in it i'm not gonna like you're not gonna eat fried fried chicken rice or chicken fried rice and have steak on the thing yeah people do do that i never thought about that i just feel like in my head if it has meat in it it's a it's a full one entree put it down below y'all <laughs> take a bite for you so rudely <laughs> interrupted me but I'm finna um, scoot on up out the way we want to just say thank you for coming up over here and subscribing to the channel I truly truly do appreciate your support and to all my returning picky palettes I want to say thank you so much for your love your support for all your likes your comments your shares and your prayers okay i hope you guys like the new dupe of picky palette you know my ogs but y'all know y'all know my ogs know and um i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you and you know it is a vibe what type of vibe it just depends on what type of mood i'm in and if you are watching this video for the first time and you are not subscribed to my channel Hit that subscribe button down below. Bring that little bell icon. That way you would be notified each and every time I upload a video. Please and thank you.
Again, dinner was delicious, Felicia. Thank you. You are welcome. Good to get up to. All I made was the rice. Sure. That is true. You had the hard part. Sure. The, the, the protein. Okay. But you know what time it is. And if you're happy and you know it, what do you know about that? And as the saying goes, you can like me. You can hate me. You can love me. You can totally ignore me. But whatever you do, you introduce me to somebody. But before all that, you do you. Because I'm damn sure doing me. Peace, love, and blessings to each and every last one of you. Remember, living is giving and giving is living. Give this video a share. Music.